Hey guys, what's up? It's Mr. Energy here. Today we are playing Would You Rather once again. And today I have, uh, this is literally the first one that came up after I clicked the next button. Um, the first one to come up is never play a computer game again or never watch any video on the computer again. So, uh, this is actually just gonna, this is really hard for me because I do a lot of both. I watch a lot of videos. Um, I actually don't really think I watch videos not on the computer. Uh, like, I don't use a DVD player. I don't have TV. I don't have cable. I just watch whatever I want online. And this is kind of hard because... This means I couldn't support other YouTubers, or I could ever play video games again, and... To be completely honest, I like playing games probably more than I like watching videos, so I'm gonna go with, uh, never play a computer game again. But I love both, I'm just gonna make that very clear, so... Anyways, there's one. Whew! Man, that was a hard one. Alright, next up is... Boop. Never be able to remember anyone's birthday or anniversary. Guilty. <laughs> Except for, you know, I even forget my own, to be completely fair. I compl I forget the time when it, mine is coming up. I know what day it is, but like, people are like, hey, your birthday's tomorrow. It's like, oh, oh, it is? Oh, okay. You know, so, uh, or forget every historical date from the past and why it was important. Is this, is this a joke question? I forget historical dates. Just because, I mean, history is important in some ways. But if you were to ask me, the only real important history to me is my own. Because it's where I learned. It's everything I've ever learned. You know, it, it's something that I would love to learn from myself. But I don't, I don't really learn that well from other people. Like, what am I going to learn from the Egyptian pharaoh, you know? Not, not that much. As far as, like, dates. And why it was important. <laughs> I, I don't even see an importance to that. So, I may be thinking of it wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's the way you're supposed to think of it. So, I don't know. Anyway, would you rather be vegetarian and love a meat eater, or be a meat eater and love a vegetarian? vegetarian? To be fair, um... I'm more of a meat eater than a vegetarian. Uh, I I eat a lot of vegetables, but it's not because I'm a vegetarian. I, I'm just all into meat. I love meat. So, definitely the second one, because what's the downside to this? There's no downside either way, but I'd rather eat meat than vegetables, I think. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure everyone agreed with me on that one. <laughs> okay. Would you rather know the exact time and place of your own death? Oh, wow. They're talking about some inception there. Or know the exact time and place of the death of everyone around you. Whoa. Okay, so, um... I'm guessing you can't change your death. And I feel like it'd be easier to accept your own death than someone else's. Like, if, if I knew that I was going to be killed on so-and-so day by a bullet or something like that, I might wear a helmet on my head because that's where I know I'm going to get shot or something like that. But if I can't change it and it is inevitable, 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 I can't say the word, inevitable, inevitable, there you go. If it was ine inevitable, I, can't, I shouldn't say that too often, then I probably wouldn't want to know my own death. And then I would know, like, I have to get so-and-so said to so-and-so people, or I need to do something by a certain date and stuff like that. I, I would rather this one, then, because knowing everyone else's death, I don't get why you would want to know everyone else's death. It'd be like walking around and go, he's going to die on uh, June 1st of uh, 2033, and hit by... Uh, a missile because he's in the army. I mean, I don't want to know that. And that's like everyone around you, not just yourself. So, because I believe it's inevitable, I, I probably would want to know my own death. You know? Would you rather watch your parents be murdered in front of you, so Batman, or murder the p parents of another family in front of their child, or Batman's 
Criminal. Hmm. Watch your parents get mirrored in front of you would be kind of heartbreaking. But murdering someone else would kind of be more on my conscience. Um, that'd be something to be like, I killed this person in front of their kid, the two people in front of their kid. And I feel like watching my own parents get murdered. I mean, I'm not saying I don't like my parents. I, I love my parents, but if it came down to this, I, I probably would rather watch my own parents get murdered than, than, I don't know. I don't really want my, I don't really want to kill anyone else. I have no interest in killing <laughs> someone else's parents. I, just, I No, no, I'm going with this one. Oh, wow. A lot of people would rather murder people. I'm, I'm kind of like the peace guy here, so... And someone said down below, it's it's horrible, and whoever posted this is a sick, has sickly minded. And I agree. Um, but yeah, I, when it comes down to this, I would probably rather watch my parents die than have someone else's parents die. Yeah. Alright, would you rather be wanted for murder and be on the run, or be homeless man who only has boxers? Okay, here's the other question, alright? Do I have the ability to make money to turn my life around? Because if that was the case, I'd definitely want to be homeless with just boxers. It's not that bad, you know? You might even have someone feel bad for you and give you clothes, you know? And then you could go out and get everything else finished off, uh, get, get a job, turn your life around. Or you could be wanted for murder and always be on the run because you killed someone else's parents in the last one. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go with be a homeless man. Because you can turn your, you can turn your life around. But... See, I, I don't understand these. Maybe I'm not thinking these right, or maybe you're just smarter than most people. I, I, I want to say that's the second, second one is right. <laughs> Would you rather meet the Pope or be the Pope? Be the Pope. <laughs> no question. I think it'd be awesome to be Pope. Then again... You might have like a lot of like rituals and stuff, but I'd rather be the Pope because then I can make the rules rather than meet some guy who's the Pope, you know? Would you rather have 50% of your body burned or 100% of your body tattooed? Are we talking like third degree, first degree, second degree burned? What are we talking about here? Um, if half of my body was burned... Man, that would that would probably mean that in some way I, I would have less function in that part of my body. I, I probably would want to go with 100% of my body tattooed because you can't put makeup on. If you look it up online, there's a guy named uh, Tattoo Man who I believe actually is tattooed from head to foot. And he actually plays in some movie where they put makeup on him and he looked completely normal. Um, and then his whole scary costume was actually his real tattoo. So, I'm pretty sure I would rather be tattooed. Um, I'm not really a fan of tattoos, but it's, I'm more of a fan of it than half my body being burned. Yeah, and most people agree with me. That's good. Okay. So, would you rather fight, uh, play Fair Fight, which is Halo O-D-T-S. O-D-S-T, there you go. Halo ODS, ODST, or play Horde, Gears of War. Oh, okay. So, Fair Fight or Horde. Uh, I have to go with Fair Fight. Um, Gears of War, I played a little bit of the first one, two. I think I even played the third one a little bit. Um, they had this kind of chunky feeling to it. You kind of felt like you were always third person. You weren't really part of the battle. I mean, you were, but you weren't. But I didn't get that first-person experience that you get in, in Halo. So I would definitely lean towards Halo. Just because I wasn't really a big fan of Gears of War. And it's not because Gears of War has anything wrong with it. It's just not my style of game whatsoever. Alright. So, would you rather never have sex again or never learn anything new? I, I can screw, Scott, screw sex. <laughs> Never learn anything new. I am obsessed with learning things. 
I mean, it doesn't say I can't make out with someone, be there for someone. I just can't ever sleep with them. Basically, I have some sort of STD or something like that. Actually, it doesn't say I have an STD, so I don't even have to worry about that. It's just, you know, I, I can't have sex again. I would much rather uh, never have sex than never learn. Uh, learning is such an important part of my life. So, yeah. Would you rather live in a foreign city and not know the language, or live on an island alone? Ah, oh, man. Okay, so to be completely fair, I would rather live on the island, but I'd rather have someone with me, like one person or two people or a few people. Um, I would definitely love, like, Monkey Man and I talk about it all the time, how cool it would be to be, like, the only two people who have to survive on, like, an island by ourselves for, like, a year or something like that. That would be awesome. I mean, I wouldn't really want to give up YouTube, but at the same point, it would be really cool to, like, construct everything myself, build the stuff. That's why we like survival games so much, is because you get to collect things and make things and, and make your own world, in a sense. Whereas living in a foreign city... I, I like the idea of living in a foreign city a lot, but it doesn't say which one, and it could be one where there's a lot of war and stuff, so I'm going to have to say live on an island alone, although I would prefer being with some people, you know, not like, I don't have to have millions of people, I just some people, you know, so that would be preferable. Would you rather be smart and unlucky, or dumb and really lucky? Ooh, ooh, this is really... Okay, so being smart means that you can for sure get things right on occasion. But you're unlucky, so you don't get things by mistake. Or you can be dumb, not really know why you got something, but you get it. But there are no guarantees. Whereas being smart, you can guarantee things if you're smart enough. Ah. <sighs> I, I'm gonna have to say, uh, be smart. Because I feel like being dumb just wouldn't be very enjoyable. Not knowing for sure if something's gonna work. Although, really lucky does kind of balance that a little bit. I'm not entirely sure. But I, I definitely would have to go with the smart, because I, I just want to, I'd rather be smart than lucky. <laughs> Would you rather wear always wear clothes or always wear socks and sandals? Or Crocs. Why I read clothes? Always wear Crocs or always wear socks and sandals. Crocs. No, no. Socks and sandals. Um, this is a 50-50. Ooh. And Crocs are slightly ahead. The reason I don't like Crocs is because if I get my get the Crocs wet at all for some odd reason, I get cramps in my feet. And I don't know why that is, and I have to take the Crocs off to to get my feet to uncramp. So definitely socks and sandals. Would you rather wear high heels or a dress? A dress. All right, we're gonna speed through this until I, ooh, okay. This one's for you guys. Would you rather have no family or have no friends? I wanna see down below and what your choice is and give me a good reason why. Um, whereas, uh, you wouldn't do the other one. So anyways, I will see you guys in the next one. Make sure to leave that thumbs up down below if you like what you see. And we will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.